Oh, it's over here. I was just hopping around Rito Place and I found the exclamation point. Hello. I heard that divine beast Va Meadow has been appeased. It just sends my heart soaring. I didn't even realize I had started singing this old song. Did you hear me singing it? Teach it to me! Huh? Well, that's embarrassing. The pride of the Rito, pillar in the sky. Its heart lights up when the sun is high. Oh. Uh, there's more of the song, but I forgot the rest of the words. You should ask my sister, Laisa, if you want to know the rest. Oh, that's got to refer to the freaking thing. That's probably that right there. Huh. Well, I found this on accident because I was I was here to uh, I was here to check on Koss, but then I arrived and realized, oh wait, Koss won't be here because I haven't actually finished his stuff anyway. I still need to uh, pillar in the sky. Oh, there you go. I uh, I want to check in on Koss and, his, and see if he had come home or anything like that to Rita Village since I've been to all this stuff, but I realized that I haven't done the the one related to that one dragon yet, because I need to catch it and get its uh, one of its scales so I can turn it in, so that's actually not done yet. I've done everything except for the one thing I'm putting off for later. Hi. Hello. Mm -hmm. So Bedoli told you I would sing you the last half of the ancient Rito song. Her memory really is the worst. I can help you. But there's one catch. <laughs> Recite the first half from memory, and I will teach you the second half. Go ahead. Uh-oh. The pride of the Rito? Correct. Pillar in the sky. Ah, right again. And then... Its heart lights up. When the sun is high. Aha, you got every word right! Ah. Well, a promise is a promise. I'll teach you the last half of the song. The heart shines upon a path not whole, but a warming flame can stir its soul. Second half of the ancient Rito song. Profound, isn't it? So I would guess that at right at noon, the sun, the... Is it going to be right at noon that the heart shadow of the pillar shines over here? And then what, do I need to shoot a flaming arrow at the heart, or do I need to put a fire here? Goodbye. Oh, you. Listen, I don't really have time for this. I have, uh... I have to be here at noon, which is in approximately 16 hours. So I can't really deal with you distracting me. <laughs> I don't know for sure if it's noon, but I'm assuming noon because of the whole when the sun is high line. Ow. Didn't notice he was using a bow. I was waiting for his me his melee him to run in and attack me. Uh-oh. No, the frog got away. There we go. Got what I got. Only one way to know if I'm right. So here's a wood, some wood. I need to chop down some wood. We're running out. And some flint, which I always have plenty of. And then I could rest at this to wait until nightfall, I suppose. Trying to help my stock a little bit, since I'm going to be waiting anyway. And I'm going to try to skip ahead to noon. And hopefully break the sword so that I can start regenerating. There we go. That's pretty much what I was going for. Noon. Let's do it. Hope I'm right about the sky sun being high. Heart. Heart? Yep. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, the fire's gone. Oh no. This? Does the heart... Be correct. Be correct. Yeah! Oh. Oh! Yeah! Started, it, started, it did the draining sound, so from, I had a moment of panic of like, oh, It's wrong! Hey! I was planning on going to the Zora this episode, so this, this has been an unexpected path to go in. This is why you always gotta be recording. And so that we- It's possible for the episode to start in a way that surprises you, like, Oh, I guess this episode's starting, cause I just found a thing, crap! Da 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 da! It's one more star I can remove from the map. And this will be number 97, wow. Well, that'll be 23 to go after this. Cannon. That's just its entire name. Dramatic? It's the Cannon Shrine. I wonder how many shrines surround Rito Village, because this is at least the second or third one. And there's one on top. The heck's going on there? Oh. Now what happens? The next step? Do I just need to time it now? Well. An attempt was made. Good thing I got the faster cooldown on this stuff now. Ha! Oh. I was like, that's, I bet that's the chest. Using the same mechanic we used to use the primary puzzle here. Falcon bow, superior rate fire, and it's also a quick f f shot, so it's probably faster than the other bow, but I think I picked up a crappy bow earlier anyway that I can probably drop. Maybe. Don't I have a falcon bow right now? Oh, I have a duplex bow. That's a double shot. 14 double shot. I feel like I'd rather have the falcon bow, but I'm not really sure. I have, I have multi-shots in my inventory already. I don't know, it's especially fast. That's the long range one. I guess the one to drop is my is my knight's bow at this point. I went from being having a full inventory of knight's bows to now zero. Everything else everything else has some sort of special characteristic. Or as knight's bow or it just seems to be easily acquired. Alright, so it's one of these ones where you get the your goal halfway through. But there's a whole second room that's that that expands on it optionally afterwards. This is actually a neat thing to see when it when it pops up. Looks like this time the target itself is moving. Oh. This could take a few attempts. The target so I have to I can't tame the cannon, so it has to have, only happen when the actual target is in the middle of the screen. Oh boy. This one could be significantly more taxing to get to pull off. Oh, that almost looked right. Hey, come back here. There's so many moving objects to worry about. Hey! Got it! Oh, do, do, do. Diamond! I don't have to worry about whether or not I have room for that. How many diamonds do I have now? I haven't been selling them lately, I don't think. I'm up to eight. Which 
So that would be worth, what, 8,000 if I sold them all? Isn't a diamond 1,000 each, I think? They're rare enough to be noteworthy finds, but common enough that working directly for them feels weird. That's why I, don't, I feel disinclined to actually bother with that one quest. It's like, hey, you want to collect 50 of that one plant? I'm like, not really. I'm not particularly interested in getting 50 rush rooms that are all on cliffs. That would probably take an hour or two of, so of just solid pursuit. I wonder if you can shoot them down. I don't know, one way or another, it's definitely easier for me to climb than it was back when I first got that quest. Because that was like the beginning of the playthrough. I was like, that was, uh, I jumped off the plateau and went towards the desert immediately. And before long, I found that particular village with that particular nightmare quest promising my first ever diamond. I hope that one's gone. Oops. So I think... Oh, there's you. Yeah, you're the scale. I need to get that guy's scale and take it there. I think those are the only two stars on my map right now. Yeah, this one I haven't been able to find. It's underground. I think I've even seen the shrine itself through the wall, but I haven't figured out how to get into it necessarily. So we have one shrine I don't know how to access, and one shrine I'm just not pursuing until I properly chase after the dragon that's attached to it so I can actually offer the scale to get into the shrine. And aside from that, there are still 21 other blips hiding amongst this map. I suppose the thing to do will be to just go to regions of map I haven't spent much time in and try to check out that general area and see what I'm missing. This place stands out a little bit. The Elder Foothills Rowan Plain. There's probably one in here because it's a pretty big chunk without a single circle in it. I don't think there's one right here because I've, I've run up and down this. There might be one in here or something, but... This open plane seems to be empty just because it's empty. And of course, a decent chunk of- uh, some chunk of them is probably in the Zoro Domain and the Goron Domain areas. Because those are two utterly unexplored zones that I've been putting off, so that's... We'll see if a chunk of them goes away at that point. Is there a pass here? There is. Huh. Oh, I've never been to any of this place. I'm gonna mark this for later. Nice glowy mark. Nice temporary mark saying, Hey, check this out sometime soon, maybe. Because that's an interesting chunk of map. So next to the labyrinth, there is a pass through the mountain. That's a low point. And that goes to this entire zone I've never set foot in, I don't think. This entire section, I think, is unexplored. So that's noteworthy. Mount Turin. Rabala Wetlands. Yeah, that also screams as being like a place I probably have... I think I've been through all of here, and through here generally. But not specifically in here, because that's not... Where's the horse? Somewhere around here is the horse shrine, I think. There it is. Yeah, so that's not the same spot either. We've been up there because that's the heart. Yeah, I remember that. So we're going to have to mark this as another place to check out. Trying to find the gaps in my exploration so that we can be thorough. I think I'm going to do uh, Zora next. Like now, I mean. But I'm marking my... Just because I'm on the thought right now, I'm going to mark these places as, as things to potentially explore as soon as I'm done with the Zora stuff. I've been around here. This all kind of goes into the fire zone. That's kind of unsafe, so... That's be that'll be approached when it's ready. Trilby Valley. Trilby Plain. It's a whole area named after an awkward hat. How unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, Zora, let's go. We haven't been here for a while. Also, it's raining, fittingly enough. This poor guy is still stuck up here. Somebody! Somebody tell them I'm here! Help! I wonder how many more rings of stamina I have than I did last time I was here. Woo -hoo. A little far down. Uh, hey Zoro Domain, have you noticed that there's like a monster at your front gate? 
seems generally unsafe. Th that's the primary road to your kingdom? You guys really do own mostly swim, huh? That would make sense if they just swim everywhere, because there's just a river connecting and that would be no big deal, probably. But the, uh... The ground road just it leads up to a cliff that also has monsters on it and stuff. So, like, foot access to their village is garbage. Hello, giant shark man. Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. <laughs> Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. He has a weird, weird voice, doesn't he? He's also got this vague, like, Dracula thing going on, like, like... He has the makings of a Castlevania-style costume, but only the vaguest, vaguest slight hints of one. Because mostly he's just a guy running around naked, but he's got, like, a belt and a collar and a... Like, a, what do you call that thing? A set? No, that's not a sash. I don't remember what you call that thing on his neck, actually. But, uh, what is it? It's like when you have a cartoon character that just has a bow tie and no other clothes, and you're like, what's that bow tie attached to? How does how do his clothes work exactly? Is he a stripper? Ah, a Hylian. Yes, I knew it. Oh, pardon me. I am Sidon, the Zora Prince. And because we've only pronounced it during this part that doesn't have voice acting, you will never be entirely sure how it's pronounced. Whoops. And what is your name? Go on, please, tell me. Link? Your name is Link? What a fantastic name. Hmm. hmm. Though I cannot shake the feeling that I have heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been, wait I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. I am a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes! Exquisite! I have been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from divine beast Varuta. Please, promise me you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zoro's domain with me? Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zoro's domain will be saved for certain. No time to waste. Hurry and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. As a Hylian, I know you are unable to swim up the river. As such, the path of the domain m may be a bit treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that will attack electricity, and apparently I'm unwilling to help you and will abandon you now. <laughs> Don't give up. I believe in you. Oh, that's right. I have something that I would like to give to you. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Hey! is a drink that will increase your re uh, resistance to electricity. I'm not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work on Zora, perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. Huh. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there is not anything strange going on where, where you are headed. I'm counting on you. Shwoop. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Who's a dead creature? Yes, you are. Okay. So he gave me lightning resist. Apparently the road to their city is a nightmare danger, so that's great. Ooh, there's woods around here to explore. I could probably spend a decent chunk of time just heading towards their village, let alone actually being in it. All right. This could be interesting. I'm back in shrine mode, right? I think I am. 
Yeah. Just double checking. There was a nice little quirk during the cutscene where at one point he was, he was all like posing and exclaiming and stuff. Are they talking to each other? Die! Hehehe. <laughs> What could have done that thing? Oh no, great tragedy. What will do? Oh, he's burping now. Bye. Ooh, a bundle. There we go. Oh, the rain. Oh no, the rain's still here. So during that cutscene, uh, he's all striking a pose and everything, and. Like, all virtuous looking. And then he had that dot 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 moment in his dialogue. And, uh, during that moment, his eyes went from looking at me to just, like, looking straight ahead. Like, you're thinking, and I'm like, oh, wow, that's a weird... I, I might have to double check to see if it actually happened or if I imagined it. But, like, if that... If, if I'm remembering it correctly, that's, like, a really specific detail to nail in your cutscene. That's pretty cool to nail something that specific of, like, having the character look like they're lost in thought for a second. That distracted eye movement. But hey, it's Nintendo, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Can I just ignore you? Kind of. Got special lanterns, but the effect is lost a bit during the day. Howdy. It's really weird seeing green Lizalfos. I'm so used to them being just not a thing anymore. Whoop. Rude. Ooh, arrows. I really should grab a traveler sword and take that one character that wants one. Maybe I'll try to remember that that there's one here. There's a few places I could probably reliably get one though. Nope. Rude. Admittedly, that one tr that one boy that wants to look at a traveler sword isn't the biggest priority for me right now. Does it say Zora? Yep. Nope, nope. Where's that? Oh, a couple of them. Just gotta move sporadically. Ow. Ow. The path is filled with enemies that attack you with lightning, he says, as I get bombarded with normal-ass rocks. Oh. Hey! Hey, Link! Sorry for calling out to you from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I was not sure you would really come through. I am pleased things are going well. Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been a lot of monsters around here. Be careful as you proceed. And hurry! All of my fellow Zora are anxiously waiting your arrival. Why aren't you helping me? I need you to come over here, but it's dangerous. Watch out. I will abandon you and, and hope things work out. <laughs> it really is treacherous. Now we're dealing with steep slopes and water. So the entire area has perpetual rain, so doing the main story first... Oh! Uh, probably makes the most sense to do the main story first, then come back later to do, uh, exploration. Because I might be able to extinguish the rain. Much like how in the, in the other area, the storm was a constant problem for me. Uh, the, the lightning storm in the desert was too dangerous to explore. I mean, I could, or I could just not. What's the chance of that the chest actually has something I'm going to care about in it? Ooh, arrows. Shock arrows. I, oh, I take it that this is the lightning stuff we were talking about. Okay. Okay, you made me drop my... Where's my sword? Shield and sword, there we go. Frame rate so low. Almost unplayable. There we go. A very straight shot weapon. There we go. 
No more lightning problems. Did they drop any lightning arrows? Nope, there's a few of them sticking out of trees. No, there is still one more. And then there wasn't. Dang, physics. Their body parts just end up all over the environment when you start destroying them at a range at this kind of location. They just roll everywhere. I'd probably never be certain that I actually found all the bits. Lots of shock arrows scattered around. Considering the water in the area and that it's a rain, it's an unnatural rain caused by their beast. And the idea that uh, I'm, I am building up to a, a, a boss encounter of some kind. Crossed with the idea that this is of course a Zelda game makes me really think that the uh, beast is going to have a lightning vulnerability. And that's why they're making these lightning arrows so unusually, so, un so unusually available. Royal Bow 38. So you're just a quick shot. I mean, I think I'll take raw damage over that. That was quick shot at the loss of 10... At, yeah, at the loss of, loss of 6 damage at the time, but now it's 16 damage with the uh, plus 10 on this one. Ow. Oh, I didn't know I want to climb that tree. I just wanted to stubbornly steal their, uh, honeycomb and then run away. There's so much nature to grab, and now it's all mine! Ooh, big hearty radish. I need to cook again soon. I don't really have a stock of, uh, health regen anymore. Wow. Got a sneak attack when he w when I wasn't even sneaking. This place is good for my inventory. I did- I did see that there was a, uh... I saw that there was a- a spot there to cook, but I figure... They probably have proper ones in the town that aren't... in isolated rainy places that have to be lit manually. Howdy. Give me your insides, please. There we go. And... Boom. Ah, crap. I was going for a plunging attack, but I grazed the ground. A little too early. There's so many arrows around here. Ooh. Good time to be doubly sure. Yep. That I have them already. Oh, and it's time for the... I better get moving, actually. It's apparently time to worry about... Yep, the, the moon. I see a bad moon rising. Uh-oh. They might... Hey, I did it this time. So you see, I think you have to skip to the right at the beginning of the cutscene. Uh, I might be surrounded by enemies right now. Yep. They respawned right around me. Ah, <laughs> uh, but their food didn't respawn. Oh well. Ten more arrows. Oh, ho, ho. what am I at now? I'm actually getting a lot of arrows right now. Uh, 146? Alright, that's, that's, that's an improvement. Wow. Does everyone here consistently drop a bundle of five arrows? Because I might have to keep this place in mind. But I take it that every single lightning enemy... Yeah, every shock arrow dude has respawned. I don't really, don't really want to re-clear them all, so let's not. But I haven't... That's not a beetle. That's... That's a knot. Or a chopped branch, I suppose. When they're... When they're... When they have the right reflection next to them, they, they totally look like little... Beetles crawling around on, on trees. I'm so wrong. Why am I so wrong? <laughs> Alright, we're... Maybe a third of the way there. It's actually a pretty long, windy road.